Hey guys, my name is Will Willie. I have to adjust myself, please. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulty. Thank you. I am very welcome to come back to this nice, wonderful game that we are apparently on. Yay. So, let us continue before we, um, well, I can't even talk right now, so. Are you, what did I just step into? Um, like I said, I know nothing. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with word sands written on it in red marking. Okay. So, uh, don't fall. Gotcha. <laughs> really? Well, you know this is my second attempt. How do you know? Because I just did this. Yes, I just came back here, so, uh, yeah. Uh, was that snow? Wait, hang on, hang on. I, I need an instant replay. It is snow! That's funny. That, that's, uh, that, that's, that's pretty funny. Okay, you are. That's funny right there. Uh-oh. Do I go down? Do I go right? Down, right, down, right, down, right. Or fall. I can't fall. Okay, let's go right. I don't like right. Let's go down. That's <laughs> Sans. I like Sans. <clears throat> What's up? What's up? Are you lost? Uh-oh. Well, that's uh, a little different. Jifron confronts you. Okay. Oh, I have been confronted. Apparently. I'm... I'm, uh, I'm going back. That was, um... Hi, Sans. Hey, Sans was over there. Did you see him? No. Oh well. I'm sorry, guy. I I got to um. I gotta go and do my thing now. <laughs> I was felt determination. <laughs> the very same determination that I was told don't go. It's a trick. Yeah, that determination. Oh, no, no. Oh, what? Come on. <laughs> Sands, help me. Sands, buddy. Sands. Alright. Alright, so checking is important, apparently. That was, um, weird. Ooh, you're so cute. Can I grab one? Can I? Can I? Aw. It's a door. Well, I was hoping it was. Is it a puzzle? Is it a puzzle? Is it, is it, is it a puzzle? I think it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. I don't know. I mean, it, it may sound, but nothing. I'm going to assume I have to come back later. Yeah, I'm going to have to assume I'm going to have to come back later for it. Um, it's a snow puff, and this is a snow puff. 
This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Um, there's 30G inside this. What is this? It's a snow puff. Uh oh. Oh, it's so cute. It's not cute. Turn us evil. <laughs> it's the greater dog. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Whoa. It's, it's excited, so, um, let's play. It's not excited enough to play with, but it's excited enough to say, Bork and kill me! Oh, no. <laughs> I'll be right back, apparently. You guys try this one more time. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. <laughs> This is gonna be hard. <laughs> like, it's so cute, and then. No. <laughs> it wants to play, but. It slobbered me in the face. Affection. And it wakes up. It's so excited. Play! You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. All the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now this dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Ouch. Want some TLC. Inches closer. But I don't have any TLC. No peace. Entire weight onto you. Your movement slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Oh.
Why is this leg hanging in the air? Ray Dog is contented. Yay! Yay! I didn't know I was going to win or not, and I was dying actually a few times. Oh, oh, that was so cute. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> so let's let's go on ahead and proceed, since I already screwed that one up. But nobody else knows. <laughs> Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slide. Each part will swing violently up and down. And I am on a bridge. This is going to be fun. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? Why well, hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate now. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge is maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. Expertly, okay, expertly, expertly, okay. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. <laughs> I don't know what my brother's going to now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Welcome to Snowden Town. Thank you for letting me know that. You are very nice to let me know that. That was so awesome of you. I didn't know there was a town here. Wait, what? The sight of such a friendly town fills you with termination. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't read that before. He's the fuck sure. I want to put this tick up. Um. I I I don't know about that. Okay. Ooh. Hello, Chava. Oh. <clears throat> The woman. <clears throat> Hello, Chopper. How can I help you? Well, weapon. I don't need a weapon. I want one of them. I want a cinnamon as my own recipe. Okay. Not like Mommy Goat cooks it. <laughs> Poor old Mommy Goat. <laughs> Mommy goat. I wonder. Talk. All right, say hello. Hi, look at this snow bear. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Maybe. 
You want to know what to do here in Snowbin? Grubbies has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the end. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing in the nice ice cold because it's so freezing out there and you just don't know. But it's okay, you can just sit there. Woo! Okay. There's two old brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and assaulted themselves because that's all they ever do. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then, but funny at the same time. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, my two lived in the rooms back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folks decide they like... I can't do it no more. I'm, I'm starting to get a headache. A, the cold and so <laughs> camp and snow bit. Oh. And don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost... Or can burrow under the door? Forget about it. Or burrow under the door. Mm. Like a dog. Mm. Like all these other dogs. Mm. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. I bet it is. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming don't we as long as we got that hope we could grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day that's life ain't it surprisingly kind of is bye now come and get us sometime sure will mario hey let's go check out the inn and then i gotta go I was told something and it was kind of funny and I want to check it out my own self. Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snow Biz Premium Hotel One I wonder what happens if I do. I'll try later. Well feel free to check back anytime. Okay aww. Alright, let's try it. Let's, let's just check it out. Let's just, yeah, let's just check it out, okay? Here's your room, okay? Make sure to bundle up. Yeah, that sounds about right. That don't sound about right. <laughs> Game logic. <laughs> I, uh, you look like you had a great sleep and choking on my own coffee. <clears throat> Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. All right, let me go back real quick. I'm I'm going to check something. Um, uh, if it's if I find something new, um, I'll you you will know. I'm talking to myself. All right, everybody. I have come back somehow, and I found nothing. Oh, doggy door. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Uh oh. Okay. It's locked from the inside. I wonder why. It's locked. It's piles of bills. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. <coughs> bills! <coughs> this mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Looks inside. Okay. It's emptied. 
Well, we know who's the lazy bones. <laughs> Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Wait, it was? LOL! LOL, LOL, la 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 la. Uh, that was funny. I love working on the newspaper. Oh. <clears throat> There's just little to report that we just fill it with comics and games and joy and joyness and happy and la la la. Gah, ah. When I was younger, my teacher gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments because it was awesome and I had no complaints. I thought they were a waste of time, but little did I know I was wrong. But look at me now. You know what I mean? I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. <laughs> That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving junior jumbos, aren't you? Oh yeah, uh, and him. I forgot, I forgot, I read him, I read him. So let's look at the books. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then, their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Actually, technically, that's kind of true. Humans with their physical form are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person come in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monster bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the cooler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Most definitely, I think so. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we move out of our old city home. We brave harsh, cold, damp, swamp, swamp land and searing heat until we reach that we now call our capital new home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love Hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls doesn't need these things to exist. Okay. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? In other words, why try to solve something you know you can't fix? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight, I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Grillbees! Ooh. <gasps> Ooh! I remember, you're that person. I'm thinking of getting a spike color to show off my professional. It makes... oh. <clears throat> 
it makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. I gotta do it. That's why, that's why I like him. I hated him first, but now I like him. No matter where I go, it's the same menu. The same people. Help! I won't need in <laughs> Hot guys. Is that a girl? Or is it a guy? Okay. Hmm. Is it human food different from monsters food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Digest. Oh, disgusting. Blah, blah, blah. I'd love to try it sometime. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasures of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Okay, I'm going to um, look at him because he looks... It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing... <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got it. Okay. Him. He's last. Grill said that he offer you a glass of water. But he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> the jukebox is broken. Well, how is there music playing? Dun, dun, dun. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Politics. <laughs> that's, yeah, that sounds about right. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a strip shirt. Okay. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. Uh... Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents under a decorated tree. Whatever makes you sleep at night, buddy. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. Okay, um, I'm not going to go all the way right, because I'm pretty sure that's where it wants me to go. So, I'm going up here. <laughs> Stash. Ah, uh, TV young again. The world sure felt down this. You aren't going to make me be the human again, are you? Let's play Monsters and Humans. Alright guys, gotta do that backward, but... Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience awards and humans. Ah. 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 Okay, I'm done. So this is where ice comes from. Interesting. Ring, ring, hello. Can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry about that. We got it wrong. <laughs> oh, it's the wrong number. 
the wrong number song. We're very, very sorry about that. We got it wrong. Click. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> Nice. Everything about this this is just so. Oh, what what's going on? Why is it getting colder? Why is it getting colder? Why did I stop? What's going on? Why is that look like pepper? It. Lemon. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another puzzle solving skill. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great pepper, will be your... Don't say it, don't you say it, don't you say it. No! No! This is all wrong! <laughs> I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must go to you then! I can fulfill my life long dream! Powerful! Popular! Prestigious! That's Papyrus! The newest member of the Royal Guard! What is it? Oh crap! Papyrus blocks the war. He likes saying that! <laughs> <laughs> I was considering his options. The flirty. What? The flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standard. I. Oh no! You're meeting all my stuff! <laughs> I guess that means I have to go on a date with you! Date later after I catch you! What? I can't even do this! Pepper's thinking about what to wear for his date. <laughs> Oh no! I still let her take <laughs> I can't even drink coffee anymore. <laughs> I get what to cook. You know what? You flirt! But to no avail. Scene's acting won't escalate this battle a day later. So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my feeble blue attacks. I think I learned the blue. <laughs> Wait, what? You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> Fighting to <laughs> stay late. Wait, what? She's screaming behind her ears. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing.
<laughs> oh, out longer to jump higher. Jeez. <laughs> uh oh. Pepper's dabs. MTT brand. Cute juke behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. I can almost taste my future popular. Huh. <laughs> How head of the royal? Whoa! He doesn't have ears. Ever? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh! You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capital zone, or as Sans calls it, our garage. You're in the dog house now. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? There's <laughs> a note from Papri. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room <laughs> until the time arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and have been provided. Papri. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's just a squeaky chute. <laughs> I'm going away here. I will be our big. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. <sighs> Let's just proceed. I'm done waiting. Apparently nothing's happening. Wait, what? Okay, um... Okay, that looks about the same. Everything here looks about the same, so... Let's just end this. Um... I'm, I'm just going to end this right now. Yeah, I'm just going ahead and end this right now. Um... So... I hope you all enjoy this nice, exciting moment. We have arrived in town. We fought Papyrus for the first time ever. And all those traps. Uh, apparently, I was too weak. And I didn't really want to spare him. So, well, wait, what am I saying? I did want to spare him. Well, I tried sparing him. He wanted to capture me because we didn't want to go on a date. I'm sorry, Papyrus. I don't swing that way. So, thank you all so much for watching. You have been a great audience, a great people. Um, so, um, yeah. Next time you see me, next time you want to see me, next time you want to just look in the mirror, just always remember to smile. <laughs>